Okay, here we go. Good morning, everybody. So uh, it's been a while and uh, I've always wanted to automatically chlorinate my pool so I could go away for weekends, go on vacation. I wouldn't have to worry about it. So I'll show you my setup and how I solved that problem for myself. So there's my pool and right behind me, we'll go into my electrical room and we'll see what's happening there where everything is. Okay, so first off, here we go. This gray thing with the little black motor on top. That's my Sterner pump. It's model 4M45MP2. It's a 10 gallons per day pump, fixed rate. So I figured it out to be about uh, every nine minutes, it will output a cup of chlorine. So the big black cap right down here, that's how you fill it. It's a six gallon tank. I bought that also from Sterner. And um, the black line goes out through the wall, you'll see that goes out to the pump or out to the pool and the white line comes down uh, out of the tank. So I have this all set up on the timer and here's my timer up here. So here's the plug in the wall. Uh, here's my little pool timer up above is my electrical box for the power overall coming back here to my carport So I love this timer. It's a Intermatic a ET 171 C it's a three circuit uh, Timer and what I like about this is I have it set up in mode 3 which um, they When you look in the directions or the manual it talks about it being a cleaner a cleaner circuit uh, how I use it for is the first circuit is for my pool pump that comes on a few times during the day the second circuit I don't have anything connected to uh, ultimately I'm going to connect it to some lights out here in the carport to come on at night and then the third circuit is my chlorine pump and uh, when you put it in mode three uh, the chlorine pump can't come on unless the circuit one is on which is my pool pump so you of course you never want to put chlorine in your pool without it being uh, in circulation mode so this has a this timer has a mode for it and a safeguard so here we go i'm going to push circuit three and my pump turned on but my peristolic pump didn't come on and that's exactly what you want to do with a circuit so we'll just sit here uh a minute and uh look more at this pump so or more at this timer so i have my uh filtration it comes on at midnight and then again i have it come on at seven o'clock in the morning or for filtering purposes and then my chlorine pump i have come on at uh, i think it's one o'clock there you go you just heard it kick on and here's the sterner pump and you can see it going all right so let's walk outside and i'll show you the setup so we go outside on the other side of the building here and here's where it exits and then it just goes down into the ground and then that's just electrical conduit I use just to protect the um, protect the hose and here we go we'll just walk up to my pump and here you'll see where it just comes out I just have it run up alongside my pool and over the top and then it just drips down in and we'll get in there and you'll see where it doesn't really, it doesn't squirt out, it just drips, which is perfectly what I want. And normally I don't run this during the day uh, because UV will uh, deteriorate your chlorine. So, but I'm just to show you. And then it just is a slow drip, 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 drip. And keeps my pool nice and fresh. It's looking good. So hey, I hope this helps you. Uh, like and subscribe and we'll talk to you later.